Remember, we don't know where the fuck the enemy is, so stop running in. Uh, uh, straight ahead, left side, left side. Left side of the bridge, left side of the bridge by the trucks. Got one down. Uh, thank you for team killing me, for everyone who killed me. Thanks a lot. I'm moving up on the left side, I'm moving up on the left side. Oh fuck, I'm down. Alright boys, it's time to uh, it's time to not die. Push it up on the right side. I hear you, dude. Multiple contacts on the left by tree line, tree line, behind the truck. Who still got comms? Checking left. Not seeing much. Yeah, let's go tunnel.
There's two tangles on the left side by that uh, pipe looking thing. I can't shoot their feet apparently. This is a really li nice looking map. Uh, how many of us are there? Shit, alright. We're gonna have to split up two to one. Copy that. Who's still got comms? It's beat. Damn, we might actually pull this off. Come on, guys. This is the only guy left. He has to finish the mission. Yeah. Where? What's up everybody, Dreg chiming in at the end here because the video is not over 10 minutes! So I thought that I would say that I really liked this map, and I thought that it was very cool. I also wanted to drop some facts on people, in case they didn't know the backstory behind Ground Branch. So without further ado, here we go. The developer of Ground Branch worked at Red Storm Entertainment from 1997 to 2002. Those of you that don't know what Red Storm Entertainment has done, they are the creators of the Rainbow Six series from one up until now. But he worked on the classics before he moved on to other things. I asked him on what he thought about Siege and he said, Siege is okay and fun for what it is. It isn't a classic Rainbow Six, of course. Ooh, got him. Oh, yeah. Well, it looks like I'm over the 10 minute mark. So I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye.